we go over across the street to the helm here. See what's going on. It's we're packed, dude. It's loud as shit. Nate yelled in my ear. I was like, where's Walter? He's like, I don't know! So well trained, he'll just be my companion. He'll be like a son to me. I'm a I'm gonna start a daycare and doggy center, Mike. Huh. I'm gonna raise I'm gonna take care of kids for like three hours and dogs for eight hours. You know how much they pay you? Take care of a dog for a day? Right? No rates are at all? I just need to get some good collateral dude. Did you want to die? <laughs> Heading up to River Falls, Wisconsin, June 2015. TripToRadio.com, Molly G, 21st century, 2015 to be precise. Stand next to Mississippi River, one of the most beautiful stretches of highway in America. Definitely need to get out here and check it out. Coming up next, road trip. I, I don't <laughs> mind being recorded most of the time. Awesome. Awesome. Trust your editor. That, that's the big thing. Trust the editor. I don't know if I can trust the federal government's editors. <laughs> <laughs> they don't really go to work ever. No. I, I called the Wisconsin Tourism Bureau today and they're like, you need to get a hold of this man here. He will show you what's up for drinking beer properly in the state of Wisconsin. And appreciate you taking me on this journey. I Try to learn from my street professors the best I can. All right. Well, step one, you encounter a shitty beer. I'm not talking like a beer that's made out of shit. A beer that you would consider to be less appealing to most consumers than Budweiser. Which is pretty <laughs> low on most people's soda. Yo. Pour it on ice. That's less than one. Huh. Takes the jag off. I, I noticed the Wisconsin water is superior to the Oregon water. Un, it's undebatable. And Wisconsin water is superior to far more states than just Washington. <laughs> and Oregon. <laughs> the glaciers did a good thing here. It's the, it's the magic. Hey, you're listening to Drifter Radio. We're wandering around town here today. River Falls, Wisconsin, went up the river to the falls. Oh, gee, 21st century. Did you have a DJ name, man? I don't know what your alias was that the Tourism Bureau told me about. I go by TK. TK. Come on next. Beer drinker. Got the bag of ice and uh, took some out and packed it in the 
ready made to go cooler and then you threw in the plastic bag. Except the carry all isn't going to work so well when it's time to cut the beer out, so you better finish most of it. You just pop the top and then you drink it. Do you work tomorrow? Yep. Any Bourdain's new show? Um, parts Unknown. Parts, parts unknown. unknown. What's it about? No, Layover. The Layover, I think, is the new one. This looks pretty good. Yeah, Mm. Oh. Enough. Put in See how big my hole is? That's about the right surface <laughs> area. Really? It's not a big hole. I mean, it's not the right dimensions, but it's the right surface area. Just poking it isn't enough. You gotta, you gotta you, if you want to win, it's not enough. Okay. Winner. Are you ready? On the count of three, turn upside down, pop the top, suck till you drop. Ready? Three. Oh, you had a slow start there. You didn't do one, two, three. There's a little bit of foam in that can. <laughs> Wally might be the winner by default, but we can go again. Back on campus today. You know, bump into some old professors. River Falls, Wisconsin. Holy G, 21st century, June 24th, 2015. River Falls, Wisconsin. Campus, UW River Falls. Part of my ag background right here. Need to beef up my professional network a little bit here. Kind of lacking. Touch space with some old professors and they got some directions for me. Well, what's amazing in all this, Andy, is Fresh air. I can't believe there's still fresh air around. I think these plants have something to do with it. I don't know. Give them carbon dioxide and they give me oxygen. And, um, ooh. What, kind of, what kind of hops is that? I didn't bring my manifesto out here, so I'm, it's one of the alpha acid plants that we have out here. Hmm. Different strains of hops are grown for different flavor qualities. I'm trying to achieve a venue for local brewers who are going to be interested in buying our products in the future. Well, we have some Sriracha Ace in here. I think this is one that wasn't up last time I was out here, and we thought that we only had one. We planted six Sriracha Ace, which is really heavy number for compared to any of the other species that we have out here, strains that we have out here. And only one of them had come up so far, but I think that's another one. I just finally come up, so I gotta go get a stake so we can tie up the rope and get it climbing. Awesome. Eventually, we're probably gonna take out some of these taller popples, box elder trees, so that we can get more sun in the evening, too. I know that uh, University of Michigan recently developed a completely transparent glass solar panel and that's Ooh. that's what I want to use to build greenhouses because then you can take that energy that you generate from the panels and power fans and water if needed or you know heat or lamps. You pretty much grow anything with things coming from the sun. Or you're just collecting during the day. You're not really using much of that energy because you've got the vents open and the sun's shining. And we have all that energy laying around. Good use of space then, for sure. Ways. This bug is about ready to be sent on to its next life. Viking. I think this idea could work. Next year, 
figure out how to make it a food idea too. But I mean, eventually the hops is going to be a kind of food. Yeah. Pork chop in a can. Like I was saying, telling the lady down at the pub the other day, got all these mosquitoes out in their back patio that could easily be taken care of with, with five billion bats. Go bat house on it. Need more bats. The lady was asking what we should put on this list of products that we want to have for the, the veterans farm out there, a Central Oregon Veterans Ranch. And, you know, it's also a place of healing. So super food, you know, you just get your performance foods in the ground, ground like bro broccoli or garlic per se. You chia. Know, something. Mm. See if you can grow chia. Chia, chia? seeds. Uh, very, uh, very uh, healthy. Amaranth. Hmm. Put in the dry creek bed. Put a dry well right there so that if anything does run all the way to the bottom, get sucked down into the ground. I put my landscape crew back together two years ago to kind of address some of the issues out here. And I installed all these retaining walls in like 2004, 2003. This is old infrastructure down here. But everything on this side we did recently, kind of open it up and plant some lower shrubs, some herbaceous plants. And I put this wall here because there's the soil that holds in the front of my patio here. We just cut out this facade and built up in front here so that soil stays around. We're not really losing anything out of any of these. It's lined with soil erosion mat behind it. So it's just holding everything back. It needs to be weeded. It's supposed to be my job for two hours this summer. <laughs> Hire some kids, put the kids to work. Yep. No, I wrote an IOU on my mother's mother's state card. Two hours of weeding from me. <laughs> this is not something I'm looking for to make you good on, but I will. Question of the ages. How much is horse shit worth? Answer by Andy. Whatever you make of it. Yeah, I could probably get the job pulling weeds out west. There's always people who want to not have to pull their own weeds. Nope. Trying to teach a bug a lesson. Won't be going into the navel cavity. The navel academy. <laughs> that too. <laughs> It'll mess with your head one way or another. You know, bugs flying in your nose. Join the military. This is Mike. This is Mike on bugs. <laughs> run, Mike, run! Coming up, road trip. We'll pick up big shoes. The road. 